part, we're looking at the sales letter. It's a very common letter you're going to use when you're in business. One of the most common jobs you can have as a new graduate is sales. Every company needs lots of sales. So you'll be writing sales letters, putting them inside emails, and sending them out to potential customers. Of course, we need to remember what's the goal of a sales letter, and that is to get a customer, to obtain a customer's interest, maybe to buy now, but also maybe to buy later if they're interested. So a sales letter is an excellent chance we have to get a customer involved. They're not easy letters to write. The more you know about the receiver, the more chance you have to succeed. Let's take a look at what is involved in a sales letter. Usually a sales letter needs to focus on getting attention right away. And they do this by directly addressing the customer or the receiver. So if your company is fortunate enough to have a record or a list of previous customers, then you can write a letter to those previous customers and say, hey, we have a new product you will be interested in. That's a great way to get attention. You may also just have a list of information of potential customers and you may use that to get their attention if you know something about them or you pay for information about them. In any case, a sales letter is a difficult one to write if you don't know anything about the receiver. So it's best to know something. So if you're doing business to business, it's especially important that you understand the other person's business, the receiver's business. And then you try to explain why is your product, why is your service good for their business. I know you, I know your business, I have a product, I have a service that's good for you, that's good for your business, that can help you succeed. That's the idea of a sales letter. Let me go off on a little bit of a tangent here and give you a little bit of a hint of the main kind of strategy a sales letter should undertake. And that is what I call the A, B, C, D rule of thumb. And what that means is each one of these letters has a meaning. So let's take a look at those. A is attract attention. Get attention. B means build interest. C means create desire. And D means define action. Okay, attract, build, create, and define. Sometimes these are a little bit hard for my students to understand. So let me just give you a quick example. Attract means get my attention. I see something and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So if you're walking down the street and you see a big sign or you hear a loud sound or music, then that gets your attention. Build interest means tell me something that makes me interested, more and more interested. C is create desire, means I actually want to buy something. And D, define action, means tell me how to do it. So these three things are actually quite different and they're each a stage along the process of making a sale. So first I get my focus, I get my attention, and that's the attention. Then I say, hmm, this is interesting, I understand this. That's B, building the interest. And then C is actually thinking that I might want to spend money on this because the money will give me a value back. If I spend $1,000, I will get something worth a thousand or more dollars because it's valuable to me. That's that create desire. Maybe there's a special sale. It's something I kind of thought I would like, but I never bought it. But today there's a special price. That's C, creating desire, you see. Maybe there's uh, a kind of phone I wanted to buy, but it was always too expensive. But this week, it's on special sale. It's 30% off. Well, I, it, I, I'm interested. I always wanted to buy it, 
but I never really had the desire to buy. Why? Because it was too expensive. Now it's cheaper, that does it. So you can give special offers or special opportunities, special sale prices, that is C, create desire. Define action is how do you buy? Where do you need to go? Where do you need to send your money? How do you do it? So these are a kind of rule of thumb I'd like to use to help you understand when you write your sales letter, what are the things you need to kind of pay attention to and follow? The sales letter will have three paragraphs. Each paragraph, of course, will focus on one thing. And I'm going to go over how they focus on the A, B, C, and D. So let's look at paragraph one first. Here's an example of paragraph one. For paragraph one, you need to begin strong. You need to really have a very clear beginning sentence. And here we can see this first sentence begins with a question. This is very common for sales letter, for a sales letter where they can ask, do you need something? Are you frustrated with something? Um, don't you want to do something better? Don't you want to look better? Don't you want to feel better? Don't you want to get your work done faster? So that kind of asking a question. So here they're selling a motorcycle. Is your new X100 sports motorcycle important to you? So here we know the customer because they bought this product before. And now we're trying to sell them another product related to that first product. So this kind of personalization, that is, you say something in the letter at the very beginning that makes me feel you know me, you know something about me, you know something about a product I bought previously. That's a great way to begin a sales letter. Let's look at the second example, I know you. That's a good example because you bought this magazine before. I know you as a reader of World Magazine. You are interested in learning about social developments taking place at an astonishing rate. So I'm saying something positive here about the receiver. You are a person who bought this product before and I know that only smart people buy that kind of product. So you must be a smart person. And we have another product for smart people like you. So in the first paragraph, you really are using the A idea, that is get attention, get my attention. What's the best way to get someone's attention? The best way to get someone's attention is I know you. I know you. I know something about you. Now you have to be careful. You don't want to be creepy or weird and say I know too much about you, but I know something about you. Isn't that the way so much advertising today works? That you have some information about the people and you say, I know what you're interested in. So that's the way you open the sales letter by getting attention. So I know you and I have something really special that you're going to like. I know you're going to like it.